Alrighty then, folks. Um, we're back at uh, America's Card Room. This is a uh, $40 guaranteed uh, No Limit Hold'em tournament. Uh, this is the uh, the first paid tournament I played today. Uh, it's only 11 cents, and uh, there were 370, 317 players in here, and we're down to uh, 72 now. So that was the uh, the bubble that you just saw. That's why I started this tournament. I'm currently in 44th place, and I don't know how long I'll last, but uh, um, my main goal it, with all these tournaments is to uh, make it past the bubble, number one, and then number two, make it to the uh, final table. Um, there's 72 uh, place uh, pays uh, 18 cents, um, whereas uh, first place in this tournament play, pays uh, $11.13. Now, uh, I've got an Ace-4 suited. Uh, this guy's made a pretty... The, the big blind has made a pretty big uh, raise. Uh, and uh, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call. I've got an Ace-4 suited. I'm going to call. And... Uh, well, I got one heart. Um, and this guy's gone all in. Uh, it's a, a flush chaser is my note on him. And he'll go all in. Anyway, uh, I've got an ace four uh, with a backdoor flush draw, but uh, I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold. My, my first instinct was to fold this hand. And uh, I should have done it, but um, anyway, like you know, like I say, uh, I, I'm in the money. Uh, 44th place uh, isn't it doesn't excite me. I moved down to 54th place now with uh, after losing that hand. But uh, you know, like I say, my my goal here is to uh, make the final table. And in order to do that, I have to take some chances. And an ace four suit, that could have been a lot better for me. That flop, but uh, I didn't get anything on the flop. And, uh, you know, drawing two to a flush with, you know, just isn't, on the turn in the river, it's just not a good bet. Now, I had the ace, but, you know, anyway, it is what it is. Now, now I've got an ace eight. I'm in the first position. I'm going to fold this. The uh, just before the bubble, I was at a uh, table where there were two guys. Actually, the boogie here, this guy right here, <laughs> he's really aggressive. And there was another guy uh, in this spot here, and he was really aggressive, and. Uh, Anyway, this guy knocked out this the other guy, and uh, you know, over a period of three hands, where they, they, they were both all in. And uh, anyway, you know, I just sat here and watched that as I waited for the bubble. And uh, gosh, I keep getting these aces. Um, not, I'm in the big blind here. Uh, I will call a minimum raise, which is what I'm looking at now. This guy that made the in the first position that made the minimum raises from the Ukraine. Well now, well now there's a three bet here. Um. So I'm gonna fold. <coughs> for 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 the 1,200 chips that it would cost me, you know. And here this guy's made a four bet, so. And he's got aces, aces versus tens. Well, my ace eight would have been just dominated. So uh, anyway, I may, 
I made the right decision to, to not call the race. It's like the third hand in a row, I've had an ace. Um, it's an ace three. I'm in this. I'm in the small blind. Um, I'll call if nobody raises. But um, as a matter of fact, I'm. I might. Wait, no, I'm just gonna call. Uh, and I'm going to check. Now I've got a three pair of threes. I'll bet that. <coughs> I'll bet the pot. This guy's got me dominated as far as chips go, but uh, he's also thinking about, you know, where he is now and, and uh, getting to the final table. <laughs> And so, uh, anyway, the big blind versus small blind. And gosh, there's another ace. Uh, this is reminding me of a, the tournament that, that I won the, uh, the trip to the World Series of Poker in. I kept getting queens. And uh, gosh, just three, four hands in a row, I had queens. And uh, that was enough to carry me through to the uh, to, to finish in the top three, which gave me a ten thousand dollar ticket for the World Series of Poker and uh, two thousand for expenses. Anyway, I've called. I'm on the button with an ace five. Um, I've got an inside straight draw. Which is not really good. So I'm, but I'm gonna call here and check. And uh, now there's a pair of threes. You have to think about the the big and the small blind here. You know they got. They're more likely to have a have a three or a four. Anyway, I'll check again. Hope I get a deuce but I didn't, there's a queen. I might take this with my ace, but I, I have to feel that somebody has something. And I'll check, and I think I've got it with my ace. Yep. Well, that wasn't a big pot, but it uh, it uh, it was thirty thousand chips. <clears throat> now this guy's gone all in. I've got a three eight suited, suited, but uh, I'm gonna fold. I've got notes on this guy. He's uh, well, my note on him is that he he'll make a minimum raise, uh, and then he folds to a three bet. But this time he's gone all in, so I presume he's got something. But he's got a caller here. Uh, and uh, King 10 versus King Queen. King two pairs and a full house. Okay, Doomsday. I want to make a note here. Uh, and King 10. As I make notes of this guy, um, I'm going all in. Ace Jack suited. I'd rather go all in and have no callers than, uh, you know, make a minimum raise and have somebody three bet or, or call. Now I've got a pair of tens. Um, which is another all-in, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm going all-in.
there's one guy sitting out here and uh, <coughs> nobody wants to go out at this point they you know they're these, these people, other than the guy sitting out, uh, they all have enough chips to last, you know, to get uh, another 10 or 20 positions better in the uh, in the payout. So, uh, Anyway, we're down to 63 players, and uh, 63rd uh, pays 19 cents. You know, the difference between 72nd and uh, 55th is just a penny. You know, whereas uh, first place is uh, 11 bucks, and getting to the final table is. Uh, Is worth a dollar and twenty-seven cents. You know, like I say, these are not; these are micro stakes. <coughs> but uh, it's uh, you know, for eleven cents, this is a lot of fun, and even the free rolls here are fun. And uh, I spent uh, I spent time talking about the. Uh, crypto and how you how at least I have to buy crypto in order to uh, send funds to this uh, to the America's card room and uh, um, right now I, I, I have some crypto I but I have to sit on it for five days so until that comes I'll be playing these uh, these micro chips micro tournaments and and the freebies And by the time my uh, my crypto, I can transfer my crypto to America's card room. There's a five day wait. Um, I'll be com more comfortable on this new uh, platform, and uh, I'll play in some some you know tournaments. You know, five six dollar entry fee. I'm, and, if, and if I do, if it, <coughs> it's funny, it, uh, I'm going to call this. My notes on this guy are he, he minimum raised, but he folds to a big three bet. Um, I probably should have been reading that, and he, he could be. He could be sandbagging with a uh, good hand too. I don't know, but uh, anyway, uh, I got a pair of nines. I bet him, and uh, he folded, so that's good. I take another another pot down. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, like I say, I've, I've been playing micro tournaments and free rolls uh, up to this point. And, I, and I'm looking forward to, to playing in some tournaments that are a little bit more expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and the uh, and, and the prizes will be much bigger. First place will pay two, three, four hundred bucks, and maybe even a thousand. You know, and uh, it's it's my goal to work my way up to uh, to the point where I'm playing in uh, bigger money tournaments. And uh, that's what it's all about for me. Anyway, you can you can ride along with me in this ride. And now I'm gonna raise. I've got a pair of sevens. I'm on the button. Everybody seems to be playing a little bit cautious now.
I'll bet half the pot. I think if he had a five, he would have bet. He has to think I have a king. So he folded and I take another one down. Well, I'm liking the way this tournament's going. Uh, now I have a 9-10 offsuit. And uh, I'm going to fold this. <coughs> I've been on a heater. Pretty much, pretty much since I started this video. I'm up to 31st place, and and the tournament is there's we're down to 56 players. This video has been going on for uh, 16 minutes. This tournament's been running for four hours and 12 minutes. Uh, I've made a point of mentioning how many uh, levels of re-entry uh, these tournaments that uh, America's Card Room have. And... Uh, I mean, and that's that's how America's Card Room is able to guarantee, you know, X amount for a tournament because they know that uh, a lot of these players will re-enter. And uh, I'm looking at the leaderboard here, and the number four player has bought bought in four times, so he's been knocked out three and three times. His fifth place player is got two rebuys, seventh place players got two rebuys, and uh, quite, a these few, quite a few of these players have rebuys. Um, I'm just scrolling down here, usually you'll find somebody that's been bought in like five or six times, and uh, sometimes I'll make a note um, of how many times people have rebought, and uh, anyway, uh, Bill Deal is his name. He's four rebuys, and he's got the most rebuys of, of all the people that are still in the money. Anyway, like like I say, that that's what happens when you when you when you when you have rebuys for so many levels. Um, it just takes forever to get to the point where the tournament really means anything, and that's why I'll, I always enter late, um, at least here. And and actually, I, I did the same thing at uh, Poker Stars. I learned real fast that you you know that when these tournaments where people can rebuy, uh, you you're better off waiting <coughs> until the rebuy period is is almost over. Okay, now Doomsday's he's out. I, I wasn't paying attention to how the betting went. But uh, Roman Dog here at a pair of queens. Now, I've got an ace-king. Um, not going to go all in, but I'm going to bet probably uh, the pot. Yeah, I bet 
the pot. Well, I'd rather take down a $23,000 pot than uh, have somebody, uh, you know, call with a mediocre hand and, and hit on the flop. That's a pretty standard raise for an ace king. Three times the big blind or whatever. Anyway, first position, I got a queen five. I'll fold that all day long. Um, if you like these these videos, or if you have any, like, please like and, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to make a comment below. Um, also, please notice that uh, I've got an affiliate link for the America's Card Room. It's a free download. You can get on. You can join for nothing. Um, if you make a deposit, if you end up playing for some r real money, um, I'll get a little percentage of that. I don't know the, the particulars, but uh, I did become an affiliate, and I've got an affiliate link uh, down there below in my uh, in the information about this channel. I'm in the big blind with the queen seven offsuit. I'd love to stay a free, a free flop. Or even take this pot down. My note my notes on this guy is he's aggressive all in often but but he hasn't been doing that no he did raise here and uh, so uh, I, I'm gonna fold it's not worth it for me to pay four more big blinds to uh, to draw to a queen seven. I was on a heater. I was, I was on. I was on a heater for the first uh, 15 minutes of this video, and uh, now it seems I'm having. I'm in a cooler. I'm 27th of 48 players now. I'm just gonna fold. To get to the final table, I need uh, 531 chips, so I need to double up to even think about it. And uh, I can double up against uh, three of the players here. But uh, now I've got a, a king jack on, and I'm on the button. Um, do I raise or do I just call? I'll raise. I'm 
I'm getting some respect here. I guess that's because I, I was on a heater for a while. But a King Jack is, you know, I, I'm on the button. Nobody's bet before. And so, yeah, that's that's a good bet. Meanwhile, we're, we, the price of uh, <coughs> the prize money just went up. Every time you see coins come out here, that means we've gone up another level in uh, prize money. What do you do with a king six suited? At this stage of the game, I'm looking to for to get better cards, especially when somebody raised. That's a minimum raise, but uh, with uh, four players behind me, I'm just not going to call with a king six. They're suited. I'd love to see a flop, but. Uh, I don't want to spend the 20,000 chips to do it. Now oh, I've got an ace jack. There's one raise. Minimum raise. I'll call the minimum raise. I've seen a lot of people make a minimum raise with, uh, you know, aces and kings. If I see a, if if he bets, I'm gonna suspect that he's got a pair, and uh, I'm gonna fold because I lose to to a pair. I lose to an ace king and an ace queen, and it was worth it for me to see the flop. But yeah, look at that. He had a pair of aces. What do you know? See, I called that. Make a note of that. Mid raise. With ace ace. I didn't catch an ace or a jack. I would have been sucked into that hand. Uh, first position, queen eight fold. I like a queen eight, but not in the first position. And not at this stage in the tournament, really. Um, <clears throat> we're down to 44 players. I'm at 30th. People at this table have been playing pretty conservative. 
Um, I've got notes on these guys. Well, this guy's my note just says Lowell. Uh, this guy's got, gone in a couple times. He's got all in an ace jack and all in ace king. And I don't know how long Sonny's been over here, the one that did the minimum raise with the ace ace. But uh, if he's if he's aware of how these guys play, that's why he made it. He was hoping to get a three bet. Now I'm in the big blind with a 10-9. I'd love to see a flop. I'd even like to see to take this pot down without uh, without any bets, but uh, that's not going to be the case. That's a little bit bigger than a minimum raise. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm going to fold because uh, I'm looking. If, if I call, it's going to be with better cards than a 10-9 offsuit. Patience. You have to be patient in this game. What they call, that's what they call a dirty diaper in some places. Two, three off suit. What do you do with an A7? I think I'll call this. Um, no, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna fold. This guy goes all in off, and he three bets with an A7 suit. But I've got all these players behind me. And uh, I'm looking for a little better than an A7. So I'm going to fold. Yeah. 
I mean, Arizona, by the way, it's been 115, 120 degrees every day. And uh, it doesn't cool off at night very much. It uh, rarely goes below 80 for the entire month of July and August. And strangely enough, where I'm at, we have mosquitoes. The Colorado River isn't too far away, and we've got a we've got a lot of uh, farm fields here, and uh, the uh, the mosquitoes the mosquito sprayers just went by. They'll come out if we call and complain about the mosquitoes. I called them about a week ago. So they send out a t uh, somebody to test to trap mosquitoes. They determined that there was a, f a fair amount of mosquitoes there. So they sent out the, the foggers. I'm getting down there in blinds. Uh, this cooler has been lasting uh, too long. I'm down to 14 big blinds. This video has been going for 37 minutes and uh, there's still 39 players. No, we're down to 37 players. I'm 29th. So, uh, with any luck, Nobody will raise here, and I can see a flop. A jack eight isn't real bad. Um, if I get a good flop, and it's checked to me, so I'll check and let's see. Well, that's not that's not a good flop for me. Uh, <coughs> Well, I have a four flush. going to uh, check my four flush and now there's a king so uh, I don't believe that a jack is going to take this and um, I'm certainly not going to bet it so I'll just uh, Casually check here. And look at that. He, he had a pair of kings. How about that? I've got a queen four in the small blind. Um... I'm going to fold. <coughs> Nobody's being very aggressive at this table right now. And uh, so I presume they're all getting cold cards like I am. Now I've got a king three suited. I'm on the uh, button.
question is, do, do I call now or do I wait for something better? Um, I don't want to raise, but I'm going to. Well, that's not a good sign. And uh, oh yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, that three's killing me right now. Um, I'm gonna fold. I still have enough chips that I can, uh, if I double up, I can uh, get somewhere. But uh, I need to do something. Anytime you get down to 10 big blinds, it's uh, it's pretty much crunch, crunch time. And uh, well, now we're starting to see some action here at this table. down to 32 players and I'm in 28th place so uh, you know like I say I've got uh, well the blinds just went up so uh, uh, I've got a king queen I'm going to raise <coughs> this could be it kind of like do or die right now and what do you know best thing I got going for me right now is two over cards and a uh, And a backdoor flush draw. That was a semi bluff, but uh, it works, and I took the pot down. An ace deuce, I'm going to fold it. got a five minute break uh, this video has been going on for 44 minutes uh, I'm in 25th out of 32nd or out of I'm in 25th out of 32 players it's gonna be another hour at least <coughs> but uh, so I don't know whether yeah, what I'm gonna yeah, what I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll cut this off. I won't make it wait 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 for the break. Um, I'll cut this off and I make the if I make the final table, I'll bring it back as a final table. 
Um, but uh, I will publish this one, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> and be sure and take a look at the two short videos that I have, part one and part two, about the crypto. Because uh, uh, if, if you're interested in playing um, uh, at America's Card Room, crypto is the way to go. And uh, it's a lot easier than you think. Um, but uh, you need to kind of narrow down to a, a PayPal account and they, that may, they make it easy. Anyway, this is Laughlin007 signing off. And uh, like I say, I'll be back if I make the final table. If not, then... Uh, it's just another tournament, but I did make it. I did cash. I'm I'm in uh, uh, 25th place out of uh, 317 players, so uh, I'm in the top 10 percent, and uh, I'm going to get a decent return on my investment. And uh, anyway, I I hope to come back at the final table. If not, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in and be sure and subscribe to uh, this channel and uh, like it. Uh, they're here on YouTube and uh, like I say, there's an affiliate link down below. If you want to download the software, use my link and uh, uh, and and and, uh, and I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, over and out, Laughlin007. Thanks for tuning in.